Ladies and gentlemen, what's crack a -lacking? How y'all doing? And welcome back to the channel. You know what it is. It's your favorite gamer here. I'm the Puff Man, and I'm coming back to you with some more Cold War Zombie Glitches. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the ultimate guide to doing those PhD slider glitches. I know y'all are having troubles with it, so in this video, I'm going to go through as much as I can to get you guys into those glitches. So if at any time you guys enjoy this video, you know what to do smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel you're gonna want to subscribe so hit that subscribe button with the bell notifications with all that being said let's get into these phd slider glitches come on baby let's go all right me amigos so the first thing i want to talk to you guys about is controller settings now this is totally optional and if you guys already know how to do the phd slider glitches and you got it down pat and it's already working for you just continue doing what you guys are doing and you'll be good to go but what i'm about to show you guys here is what helps me and this is how i play and this is how i get into the phd sliders the way that i do so hopefully this helps you guys out a little bit so here is my button layout i have it set to stick and move so my right analog stick when I push it in I jump and then I also have it so that my triggers are flipped so I'm not aiming and shooting with my bottom triggers I'm aiming and shooting with my top triggers so my bottom triggers are for the tactical and the equipment and my top two triggers is to aim down sight and fire so this is like I said this is totally optional up to you guys whether you guys want to change this or not but I find this is what helps me and hopefully it will help you guys out a lot as well so go ahead if you guys are having a hard time doing the PhD sliders go ahead and try this out I'm not sure how about you do it with Xbox but I'm pretty sure you guys could still do it along with PlayStation uh, PlayStation along with PC as well I'm pretty sure you guys could uh, remap your buttons and stuff like that on your keyboard so let's get more into this here all right so next thing I want to talk about is button remapping so this button right here that I use for my lethal equipment I went ahead in my PlayStation settings and I've changed that to I could use this for my slide button so now instead of using as it being the tactical it's actually my slide and my tactical is my O button so before the slide used to be O, but I've switched it from O to the right bottom trigger. So if you guys could go ahead and remap your buttons like so, that way there we could hit our buttons a lot quicker here. And this is how the PhD slider goes when we are performing it. So we're going to be pushing this button here. And then we're going to be hitting our right a trigger for our slide. And then we're going to be hitting our pause and then unpause. And then we should be able to breach through. Now, this brings me to the actual PhD slider perk. Now, you guys need to go into weapons and go into your skills and go to your perks. And then this perk right here, which is the PhD slider perk, it needs to be upgraded. It needs to be at a level four or higher, or you're going to have a hard time doing this glitch. What we need here is at a level two, we need that increased slide duration. And at a level four, we need that increased slide speed. So once you guys have all this stuff good and set up and you have this perk uh, set up to a level four, like you got it tiered up, we should be good to go and we should be getting into these glitches, no problem. So with all that being said, and once you guys have all that ready to go, uh, le let's get into Forsaken. And I'm going to show you guys the most easiest PhD slider glitch to get into. And this is the one I want you guys to practice. Keep practicing this one. Once you guys get this one, you can get the hang of it. You guys will be good to go. You will be masters. You'll have your PhD in the PhD slider glitch. Let's get it, baby. Okay, so getting into the things that you need to have before actually trying to perform this glitch. Obviously, PhD slider. Make sure you guys got the PhD slider. And then also things that I suggest is getting yourself pack-a-punched at least the one time. Put on your favorite ammo mod. Uh, if you're going for camos here, I suggest slapping on cryo freeze. Once you have all that set up, we're ready to go ahead and get into the glitch. Now, this is the easiest one that I could think of in Cold War Zombies for breaching. And it's right here in the video store rooftop. First thing I want to say is judging your jump distance. So when you guys are jumping, you want to make sure you're landing right, right in front of the area that you want to breach without hitting hitting the area so just judge that distance here and just like that that's not what you guys want so if you guys are hitting in front of it you do not want it you're jumping too late and right like you just seen there we're jumping too soon 
and we're just not landing where we need to be landing. So make sure you guys are judging your, your jump distance so that you're landing right in front of the area that you want to breach without actually hitting it. All right, so this is where you're going to want to hit your jump at, right there between the two posters. And also walking and then jumping, it's not going to do it, you guys. You guys need to be at a full sprint here before taking your jump. So here we go. This is the line you guys are going to want to follow. Now you got to have that full sprint. And you're gonna, again, you're going to be jumping right when you see those two posters on your right side. And that should be the perfect timing right there. Now this, guys, you guys are not going to get this on your first try. I guarantee it. And if you guys do, you guys are lucky as S-H-I-T. Oh my God, even myself, most of the time, guys, it takes me a few tries. If it takes you guys 50 attempts to finally get it, I mean, just keep trying. Don't get discouraged. I got faith in you guys. I know you guys can get this done. So with all that being said, let's perform the actual glitch here and uh, let's get into it, baby. All right, so here we go. We're getting a full sprint. We're going to jump. Now, when you guys are in the air... So after hitting that jump button, that's when you're going to hit your slide button. Now you just have to hit the slide button the one time or you could keep it held down, which I like to do. So again, we're getting a full sprint. We're going to jump, then hit that slide button, keep it held down. And right, right before hitting the ground is when you're going to pause and then unpause. And just like so, you guys, you should breach right through. So let's go through this one more time in slow motion just so you guys could get the better grasp of it. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so here we go. Again, we need to be at a full sprint. So we're going to have a full sprint here. Right when we see those posters, that's when we're going to jump. As we're in the air, we're hitting that slide button. And right before we touch the ground is when we're going to pause and then unpause. And you guys will breach right through. And again, it may take you a few times, but keep on trying it. Now, when you guys are in this spot, you're going to want to crouch in these boxes. If you're not crouched in these boxes, the zombies are going to shoot meat at you. So make sure you're crouched inside the boxes and you should be good to go. Now, I like this spot here. If you guys creep forward just enough here, you'll be able to knife and melee your zombies. So if you guys are grinding those camos for melees and stuff, this would be the spot to do it in. I really, really like this spot. And it's also good if you guys are using any kind of weapon here as well. I mean, you get those nice critical kills, get those headshots that you need and stuff like that. So let's get into a few more other things that I get questioned about while inside of these glitches. Now, the first one being is how do we get out of these glitches? So you simply just have your ether shroud and make sure it's ready to go. And then just activate your ether shroud just like that, like you've seen in the clip. And you'll get right out of the glitch. Now, be aware, like when we're doing these glitches, guys, make sure you're fully set up. So we just we don't have to leave the glitch. So make sure you guys are fully set up. Like I was saying at the beginning of the video, get yourself pack a punch, possibly have mule kick and mule kick at a tier two. The zombies drop you ammunition. So you're not run out of ammo and stuff like that so just make sure you're fully set up before getting into the glitch and you guys will probably never even have to leave it all right so to grab your power-ups when you're in these phd sliders when you're in these spots you're just simply going to want to jump towards them so just jump at them and you guys should be able to pick them up if they're close enough also with the drops that the zombies drop for you you could just go ahead and interact with them for me on playstation it's hitting the square button so that's how you're going to pick up your ammo and stuff that the zombies are dropping from mule kick and things like that now getting into the abomination part of this so what you guys are going to want to do at any time in the game you could go ahead and hit the start button and it's going to bring up your menu where you could choose your classes and stuff like that which you guys are about to see me right here so you could go ahead and switch your class to one that has the ring of fire and all it does is just switch your field upgrade that is it and you guys again you could do that at any time and then you're simply when you see that abomination coming you're going to pop that ring of fire and just take them out you should be able to take them out no problem whatsoever and again when we're doing these glitches guys we're only going around 30 and then we're exfilling on around 31 anyways and then we're rinsing and repeating so i hope this helps you out i hope this guide helps you guys out let me know how it goes down in the comments below if i can help you guys out anymore i will in the comments uh, don't forget to smash that like button to keep my algorithm real. Subscribe with that bell notification on so you don't miss any of my awesome, excellent videos. Get in the game, glitch something out, have some fun. Until next time, I'm the Puff Man. Peace out.